sure you brush your teeth, Holly. Hi, I'm Holly. See you later, Holly. Love you. Oh, my place. I'm a pupil at St. Joseph's Primary School. Our school is a really good school because, um, because, mmm. Oh, great, Holly, love her off to our school. I didn't think that was on today. Jodie, it's Wednesday and you're in your uniform. Oh, I forgot to see you over here. Robert, hiya Robert! Yahoo! Ah, hello Mr McCann, how are you today? I'm grand Holly, what about yourself? Good, thank you Mr McCann, are you free for a wee quick meeting? For you Holly, of course. Miss Dinkson is only available between half eight and quarter to nine. My goodness, that's a very tight schedule. I suppose I just have to take you now then. I'm Mr McCann and I'm Vice Principal here in St Joseph's. The Director says you've heard. Right, okay. It wasn't always like this, you know. Neat uniform, good behaviour, focus attention. Make name is So much for the treat these past seven years. It wasn't nice on the first day. See if you have a good first day at school, I'll get you some McDonald's. Work got hard pretty fast for a class of 21 and they're soon moving into primary two and learning about things forward. Phonics. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, Mr. Fryers. Can I see some good setting? Press cross applesauce. Fantastic comic. Well done, really. Brilliant run. Now, our sound of the week is I. Can you say I? I. Now, can anyone think of a word with our sound in it? Yes, Corey. Now? Can you use that in a sentence for me, Corey? I want to go home now. Sorry, Corey. I want to go home now. Miss Stanley, could you? You're not going home, you're here forever. Ha, 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 ha. Poor Cory didn't see the end of that day. Better luck next time, mate. Moving on, there are many sacraments made for all time stresses. One, however, was quite unexpected. Yes, Holly and Comic of a story for you. Welcome everyone to the Alex McManus show and your host, Alex McManus. So Holly, tell me a bit about your story. So when Primary 2, me and Jodie were playing with the dolls, we're pretending they're getting mad and Jodie said to me you need to put a ring on. I decided I didn't want to be left on the shelf. So I looked around the classroom and I chose Kwame to my husband. So I showed up to the teacher, Mr. Fresh, when I want to marry Kwame whenever I'm older. And Kwame showed up, I want to marry Holly whenever I'm older. I'll to lie, I'll to lie. So Cormie Collie has told me her version of events, what's yours? It didn't happen. So what did happen? Holly said she was ready for my age. It was a free sport then, I'm a free sport now. I don't want to be tied down, I'll to be honest. Oh, I'm sorry I had to hear that, Holly. I don't care anymore. I suppose he's right. I was too young to be making those decisions, Daddy. It's madness, but we're friends now anyway, aren't we? Yes, look, I like Holly, your friend. I suppose it was a funny memory, but I was never in the mind at that age, as long as we're clear. Okay, so sorry you have it. The marriage that never was. Oh, yeah, they felt for Holly there, and the scad to see the store friends. Accent averted. Speaking of accidents, there are many made for our time as juices. We've had uh, kids' arms stuck down the radiators, fingers trapped behind doors, and staff falling through the ceiling. But in primary three, things really heated up. This young man's a great skipper, it must be said. Excellent footwork, Keon, yeah. Very unorthodox stance, but look at those arms. Fantastic swinging action. What do you think he's off to, AJ? At this time, my money's on the office. The register's done. He's probably just doing a wee message, to be honest. Yeah, you're probably right. Or the bathroom, of course. It is very common in primary four. Ha, huh, you're absolutely correct. Back in primary four, we would make that pilgrimage over 15 times a day. A welcome break it was. Oh, look, the bathroom. Ha, huh, I was absolutely correct. The little rascal just needed a wee break, I think. Oh, we spot us up in there, AJ. What could it be? Do you know? I think it's a fire alarm. Surely not. This is a bull move. A pretty sad move, if you ask me. He has to. He can't just have a break himself. He wants to give everyone a little respect and more power to him, I say. 
I think he's gone for it, you know. Deary, he deary me. He's only gone and done it. Surely not, I think it is. This is a bold move, a primary seven move, if you ask me. He can't, he can't just have a break himself. He has to give everyone a little more respect. More power to him, I say. We've had many school shows and assemblies during our time of such races. We've had so many opportunities for us to showcase our talents. We've had nativity plays, talent shows, and the masterpiece you're currently watching. One particularly special moment, however, was both classes organised a St Patrick's Day Assembly in March 2019. What was your favourite memory of St Patrick's Day Assembly? The rattling bug. I do you remember singing that on the bus. Aye. The whole bus was going nuts. Sing it the bit for us. Go yeah. ahead, Fra, we'll help you. Aye. Go. Oh, the rattling bug, the bug the bug. My favourite memory was back in P5 when we went down to the City Hall and Al said to me I'd bet no one has a tree this size. The tree was about 10 times bigger than my own house, but I still said I did. I couldn't back down, I doubled down. I said my tree was a bit bigger. I'm still scunned and thinking about that. We had a teacher called Miss Hardy and everyone thought she was so funny. I remember she asked us to sing and dance, not for me. You were loving it, you liar. Says you, I can't dance. Uh, 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 I like dancing. I can't really remember the St. Patrick's uh, assembly, but I had lots of fun yet. Memories. I went to school because I wanted to see my teachers or friends every day. My class went to nice place. I mean, learn a lot of good things with her. I remember in primary four when Mr. McGoodick started, I asked Mr. McComish to hit a day a message to that wee boy next door. He has never let me forget about it. I remember playing sports here. It's mostly what I can remember. I remember playing football with my friends at break. I went in a basketball tournament with my class to Mr. McGoodick. It was amazing. I miss St. Joseph's. I have lots of good memories here. I like coming to school because I like doing math work. I also like talking about football, but my teacher likes to Sam, so that proves that he doesn't know nothing about football. I have no more memories. I actually just love doing the regular lessons with Mr. Mugodic. He makes them fun. We're learning on angles at the moment, and it just feels great to be learning new things and knowing you understand it. I'm going to miss St. Joseph's because I have a lot of great friends here. I enjoy my school and playing football and break and lunch with my friends. They were always there for me. Even when I fall, the, they always say, get back up. I'll miss break. I'll miss it the most. I like playing football as well. And I've gotten really good at it. And any time they're done, I say what they say to me. We had a teacher in primary four called Miss McComish who helped us do a weather broadcast using a green screen. It was so fun. Most people, including me, were too shy to do it. So we all just laughed. In P5, I broke my thumb playing dodgeball. I wouldn't call it my favorite memory, but I'll not forget it. Someone threw the ball that hit my thumb. It taught me that accidents can happen and never take your eyes off the ball. I love doing art. One of my favorite memories happened just recently when we did a seascape painting of a coffin ship. It's hard, but it's worth it because of the end product. I can't wait to learn more about painting and drawing in secondary school. P3, I made my first confession, and in P4, I made my first Holy Communion with Mr. McGoodrick. I love making my communion. I got to go out for dinner, and I got to wear a beautiful dress. I have lovely memories here. It was great singing. We said prayers, and Mr. McGoodrick was my teacher. I went to my friend Elijah's house afterwards, and I played all day. It was great. My sacraments were really special because all of our families came together. It's so nice when everyone gets together and the church is a special place to make that happen. All I remember is that the community is like cardboard and you had to wear fancy dresses. There are many positive aspects of school I have to talk about. Some can be quite boring, let's be honest. But one never has been. Sport has played a massive role during our time at St. Joseph's. We represented the school in many different types of sports. We play netball. We play Gaelic. We play basketball. We play football. We play tag rugby. Mm. We play cross country too, but someone clearly didn't get the memo. We're leaving school now and thoughts are turning to what we want to be when we're older. Some children are even thinking about becoming a teacher when they're older. Not for the kids, to be honest. They want to see what goes in the staff room at break and lunch. There are many different theories. What's cracking, Miss Glacken? Miss McCullough, do I have any plans for today? I'm getting my nails done, how about you? Oh, how exciting. I have a wee bit of shopping to do. Payday, love. Jealous. 
Here, money for nothing in this job of ours. So, what did you have for dinner last night, girlies? Oh, I was so busy. I just nipped in the new city on the way home, on the way that I'm going to die for. So poor Luca. Girls, you never believe this, but I've never had Chinese before. What? Don't be saying that we're in the markets. People pull up on Blue Dragon. Have you never had chili beef? No. Salt and chili chicken balls? No. Singapore chicken chow mein? No. Beef and black bean sauce? No. Gravy chip? No. Mm, actually, yeah. And a more. One seafood bar. Reasons aren't catching this division up, you know? Yeah, no, there's two wee boys in my wee class now, good wee brains. Yeah, well there are three wee ones in my wee class that are good, I suppose. There's actually most of mine are getting it to be for. Do you know what? All mine can do it, actually. It's actually brilliant at it. Yeah, mine are incredible at it. This is the best class I've ever had. Me too, actually. Yeah, so good. <sighs> a boys, a boys, a boys. So I swing, lads. Right, then may as well take them in the phone. Sorry, Jim. Sorry, Jazz. Sorry, McCann. Get up too much this weekend. Just rewatch Star Wars trilogy, only for the forty seventh time. We did much on Saturday. Not bad as you, Jim. Not as bad as you when you used to play, Jim. Quite for me, Jim. Just a few game nature debates. Better to be stopping around people. No worries, Gunda. Miss Bar, you didn't see the soaps last night, did you? It's an outrage the way that Tyrone Bell is treating pure fizz. Oh. M.G. Miss Barr. She doesn't even know. Much like the children with this calm edition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Emma, I saw on Insta you were away with the boys and happy at the weekend. How was it? Oh, Michaela, it was wonderful. But the little ones were testing all the boundaries of their mama. Let me tell you, rascals. You know what, though? Boys will be boys. Isn't that what they say? Still, you had a great little stay in Bangor. Had a picnic on the sat. The scones were to die for. Have you ever had them with marmalade? Locally sourced, of course. Marmalade, that's not my jam. Get it? I don't get it. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, Mrs. Curley. So, today, class, we're all going to be learning how to write some letters. Can anyone tell me what we'll need to write some letters? No? Okay. This is a pencil. Can you say pencil? Pencil. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, Miss McAllister. Today we're going to be learning some numbers. Can anybody tell me a number between 1 and 10? J. Mm, that's good, but no, I'm looking for something else. Can anybody tell me this number? Ellie. Is that a swan? That's good, but nah. Well, that's goodbye from me. I'm pretty sure Lauren and Bevan have a song for us. I hope you enjoyed the show. I was mean, felt so good 
they see his face. All the comfort and rest in my soul. Feel the warmth of a smile when he said, I'm happy to have you. Hello boys and girls, the time now has come, we're going to leave. We've watched you grow and mature and develop from P1 to P7 and it's been an absolute pleasure and an honour to watch that happen. You brought so much to this school. Now they say that primary school are the best days of your life. Can I just tell you, your best days are still to come. Now I do hope you look back fondly on the school and you have enjoyed it. But remember, best days are still to come. And I wish you the very best for your post-primary school. And don't be strangers. Come back and tell us how well you're doing. So thank you, everybody. Boys and girls, I just want to say thank you for the last year. You've been an absolute pleasure to teach. You're a credit to yourselves, your family, and the school. It's been a strange year, I know. But I was, I was thinking to myself the other day that we've been able to make some very special memories uh, anyway. Uh, You've been wonderful uh, to teach, and I just wish you all the best for the future. Hopefully you come back to see us soon. Good luck. I can't believe it's over. I'm going to miss so many friends, and to be honest, the teachers have been lovely. I'll always look back at my days at Sudosis fondly, and to me, 